Hi, it's Jack Sinclair at ReferralCamp.com. If you need to find interesting things to write on your blog and make a lot of money, or find a product to sell as an affiliate, or to make your own product online, and you don't know what to choose, I'll show you a trick that you can use to find great ideas. This is part of Referral Camp. You're going to get a lot more than this, but I will show you one trick right here, right now. You go to the AdWords tool. It's a free one. You don't even have to sign up for an AdWords account. Here's the URL, adwords.google.com slash select slash keyword tool external. Okay, you go there and you see this form, keyword tool. And to find neat ideas, what you do is you go down and you click on website content. And then you enter a URL. You go to the web page URL and I put in the English version of Wikipedia. It's just an example. Or you could put in your own text, but just leave a URL that's very high traffic with lots of people contributing. And then down below, I, I do the show hide and I make sure that the January search volume, the, the last month's search volume, and the average search volume is shown, advertiser competition, and estimated average cost per click. Now the reason for that is because you want to see how much people are paying for the advertisements. Okay, down below you go to the group keywords by common terms. I uncheck that. So if that's checked, uncheck it. And then in the calculate estimates for cost per click, you pick your currency, whatever currency you like, and put in a large number equivalent to $50 US or 50 euros. I like euros because it's used all over the world. And then you do recalculate, and it shows you what you need to look at. All these are keywords, and I've done exact. See down here, I have broad or exact. I, I've chosen exact right now, but you can do uh, broad, but exact is the actual keyword to use. And you see all these keywords listed. Thermal image camera. We look at the cost of that's like five, six dollars US. And then you look down the advertiser competition. There has to be some advertisers. If there's no advertisers, there's no money usually. And then you have to look and make sure there was some recent recent searching. If you see average search, that's even better. That's a long term what they call an evergreen product. And you go down and look at this stuff and you decide on which ones are useful. And I found one down here. See if I can find it. It was Encyclopedia Judaica came down. I thought it was really interesting. Because I never really heard of it. Encyclopedia Judaica. So I did a bit of research. I went over to just the main Google search engine and in quotes I put in Encyclopedia Judaica. And look what I found. Amazon's selling it. I mean that's an affiliate for two thousand dollars. And then there's a website, Encyclopedia Judaica dot com, who discusses it and probably sells it. But look at this. Everything else it's just Amazon listings and free stuff. Because there's so many people looking for it, and not all of them can afford that high price tag, there's a definite market for something lower cost. Someone that gives the key points of the encyclopedia or discusses some key facts that would cost a lot less money than the actual $2,000 product. So, there you go. That's an example of a, a niche you can get into, a product idea, and all you have to do is make sure you look in this site. And when you look down on the results of Google with those double quotes around the keyword, it tells you that nothing's really taken yet. This thing isn't saturated because it's only Amazon and a few universities listed here. So there's lots of room for you to stick your website right in here around number three or four on the website with something costing a lot less and giving the information that people are searching for. Okay? So that's just another idea. Go down to the keyword tool, search for things, put in a very good, uh, put in a high traffic URL like n.wikipedia.com keyword ideas don't group by keywords put in a high cost per click number recalculate search and look through the list and when you find something interesting go search on google and see what you see both for advertisers and for results on the search page okay enjoy 